Hello, it's Dan again, and uh, my second stop for today is in Reveille, Nevada. Uh, my first stop today was actually at an old mine just outside of Rachel, but there was an incident so I didn't shoot any video. Don't worry mom, I'm fine. Um, so this is a pretty small ghost town, so I probably won't be here for too long. Um, but, you know, it's another good place for me to shoot some footage, uh, take some pictures. Uh, I'm continuing to test the Zcam E2 today. Uh, at this point, I am shooting it uh, back into H.265 mode because I found last night that my iPad can't read ProRes. So I can't use LumaFusion, which is what I kind of want to use as my uh, editor while I'm on the go. Uh, I have my uh, laptop with me on this trip because it's a work trip. So um, I can still put together yesterday's vlog with the laptop, but it's 2014 MacBook editing, you know, high-res 4K footage. Uh, it gets a little choppy. So, anyway, uh, H.265 for today. I'll probably be editing this on the iPad later. And uh, let's take a walk around Reveille, take some pictures, see what there is to see. In case you're wondering why I'm bundled up today, it's because it's very cold up here. Uh, it's very windy, uh, this is at some elevation, and it's late November. And uh, I'll get some uh, footage of this well next to me to demonstrate just how cold it is, because the well is full of ice, has a dripping tap, and uh, there's uh, like an ice stalagmite forming underneath the tap. Also, what a great time to try the uh, 4K 120 on this camera and get some kind of cool slow motion of the water droplets falling. So, Hopefully that turns out pretty cool. is now sitting on the you know, front porch of the cabin, which is the most intact structure here, except for some guy's deer hunting blind. I, I assume it's deer. Could be people. Whatever he's hunting. Um, you know, the cabin, uh, I took a picture inside, I'll put it up. You can see it doesn't have too much in the way of amenities or comforts, but I'd still consider moving out here just for that view. I mean, check this view out. I would love walking out my door to that every morning, and the real estate's probably pretty cheap out here. Anyway, uh, I think that's about all the revelry I'm going to bother walking around to see. So it's time to move on to the next town. See you soon. Well, I am now here in Golden Arrow, Nevada. Uh, it's only a few miles away from another ghost town called Silver Bow, Nevada. So I'm going to assume that the two are related somehow, maybe the same company or something. Uh, if not, that's a really weird coincidence. Anyway, I don't know too much more about this town. There's not a whole lot left of it. Uh, there's actually a lot of like, you know, filled in shafts around here and whatnot. 
Um, and on the way here, I drove past some um, active shafts, maybe. Um, so maybe there's some active claims, people still looking for gold around here. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time since there's really nothing but scrap metal and fenced in left shafts. So, next now. Well, I am here now in Silverbow where there isn't a whole lot left that I can see. Uh, there's this metal shack behind me. It's kind of nice. Um, lots of like bits of metal scattered around, etc., etc. Clearly, there was a pretty decent sized camp here before, but not a lot to show that there was any sign of uh, any sort of big town or anything like that. Um, there are some kind of interesting things up on the hill yonder. So, yonder? I'll go with that. Anyway, there's some stuff, interesting things on the hill yonder. So, I'm going to fly my drone around a little bit and see if anything you know, pops out on the hills around the area that would be worth hiking up to. Uh, otherwise, uh, the drive here took quite a while up the highway. Uh, the road here, definitely not something I would try doing in a normal passenger car. I'm glad I rented an SUV. Uh, even in the SUV, there were some kind of hairy parts, but you know, nothing that wasn't passable anyway. Um, since it's getting pretty late in the day and it's getting dark so early, it's only like 3 p.m., but you know, if it takes me an hour to get back to the main road, it was getting dark yesterday by 4.30. So I don't think I'm going to have time to do any more ghost towns today. So I'll just sign off now. Uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, etc. If not, well, that's just too bad. Have a good day. Well, I got a flat tire in fairly spectacular fashion. Um, driving down the road and there was like a huge explosion and dust flying everywhere. I thought he'd hit something. Got out and there's no dents in the car, but the tire is a pancake. So um, I'd actually started to get it changed, you know, started loosening the lug nuts before I realized I have a camera. I should probably tape this as like a bonus for the end of my YouTube video. So um, please enjoy this footage of me changing a tire on a dirt road and hopefully not killing myself doing it. Zoom in. So I might as well walk you all through this a little bit for those of you who might not have changed a tire in your lives. Maybe you can actually learn something from my misfortune. So first step, get the spare tire out, find the jack, which I've done. Second step, loosen the lug nuts uh, on the existing tire. So uh, I'm through a few of them. They're usually pretty stiff. I find I usually have to hop up and down on the uh, you know, the wrench to get it loose. So, um, I guess you get to enjoy me hopping up and down on something for a few, bit, a few more. So you want to get them to where they can turn, but not to where the tire is coming off already because you want it to hold the car up while you get the car up on a jack. So since I'm on a dirt road, loose sand, uh, I found some flat rocks. I think I'm only going to need the one of them. But this flat rock will uh, help keep the jack from getting tippy while I'm changing out the tire. Now you can't see this and I'm not going to bother moving the camera over so you can because I just want to get this done before it can start. But if you look on the jack, you'll see it has kind of a little guide. That's to go into a specific place on the bottom of the car and you want to put it in that spot. Uh, if you don't, you could damage the frame. So there are a couple spots on the frame that are reinforced. Thank you.
Well, the battery died, so I'm not sure how much of that was lost to um, that battery. But as you can see, I've got the spare tire on now. Lug nuts are all hitting in more or less finger tight. Probably can go a little bit finger tighter. The goal here is really to get things tight enough that you can turn the jack one or two you know, a crank a little bit, get them tightened down, then you uh, take down the jack. Then we'll tighten these up some more when the tire's on the ground, and I'm not likely to. Uh, I'm less likely to kick the jack over when I'm trying to tighten this down a little more. All right, so that's a good start. Now, when you want to take the jack down, there's a trick you can use. It's got this little hook on it, which should fit, which usually fits. Oh, that's right. Sorry, my mistake hook goes there, this end of the jack goes through this part of the uh, wrench, lug wrench, and now you can just crank that sucker down fast, which we want to, since there's the constant danger of the car coming down. back on the ground. Spare tire is in place. Now we're gonna tighten those down a bit. Since we don't want the car to go, or the tire to go flying off the car on the highway. Alright, so that's a successful spare tire installation. Now I'll take the rocks out from under the other tires get back on the road. Where well, I was pretty sure before that I wasn't going to be doing anything more today, now I'm really sure. That's it, done, sun's coming down. Probably hit the highway just about the time it gets down. Uh, try to find a place in Tonopah that does uh, tire repair or tire replacement tomorrow. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that was not my best tire change ever. Um, dirt roads, never fun for tire changes, but I got it done. Hopefully you learned a little by watching me. Both things to do and things not to do. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for now. Have a good day.